Introducing to you Darling Tennis Center, and that's what we're talking about today. So let's roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor, and I have today with me Chris Chapman, buyer's agent for the Angela O'Hara real estate team. Yay, and today we're over at the Darling Tennis Center. And Chris is an avid tennis player. He's been playing for many years. And I just recently took up tennis. I played it in high school and maybe college. And now it was time for me to you know, pick up a sport and tennis was the right sport to pick up. And our friend Rob recommended to me the Darling Tennis Center. And so, we just briefly want to go over the history of this court and what it stands for and what options are for you as a tennis player, beginner tennis player, or someone moving to the Las Vegas area. This is a wonderful facility. I've played here many times uh, and I love it. It's the largest tennis facility in Nevada. It has 23 lit courts on 11 acres located in the Summerlin area off of Durango and on Washington. Yep. Um, the amenities include a pro shop, there's showers, new LED lit courts. It's unparalleled in yeah, the valley. Men's and women's locker rooms. It's, it's very nice. Also, so, the, yeah, I was just going to mention the social events. Angela, tell them, tell them what you've uh, <laughs> taken part of this spring. Every spring they have a special 30 for 30 program. Yeah, they have this 30 for 30 program, which is pretty awesome. I signed up. Uh, Rob recommended it to me where it's 30 lessons for $30, so pretty much a dollar a lesson. And it's just Can't for beginners, that. and I think I want to stay in the 30 for 30 forever because it's so much fun. I've met a lot of awesome people, and the classes vary each day. They're open seven days a week, right? Yeah, you can play here every day. There's always sunshine, hardly ever a cloud in the sky here in Vegas. And, and they have tons of different clinics. Absolutely. For all age levels, you'll see parents bringing their kids here, doing clinics, so all the way from kids to us youngsters here, <laughs> to senior citizens, and it's located on a beautiful 110 acre campus of Kellogg's Air Sports Complex, right? Um, which is adjacent to tons of soccer fields. So there'll also be a lot of families and teams practicing out here. Um, even once in a while you get a professional team. Yeah, and they here. also have that, uh, the big stadium, which I'm gonna, pan around um, while you're watching this video we'll pan around through the stadium we'll show you that and that's exciting because <laughs> from time to time the USTA will put an event here and that of course will be the championship court um, and every once in a while you'll see Andre Agassi out here giving lessons as well to uh, up-and-coming professionals so oh that's fun it's kind of exciting <laughs> um, but I really wanted to go over how this Darling Tennis Center and sorry if I read my notes because I'm not that smart to memorize everything <laughs> but it is a it's a three thousand seat stadium, so that's pretty awesome. And then um, basically, um, it's a hundred and ten acre park, and it's called the Amanda and Stacy Darling Memorial Tennis Center. That was opened in the city of Las Vegas in two thousand and five, and it was opened because the family. Do you know the history? I don't. So I guess the two daughters, Amanda and Stacy, were in a car accident or some kind of accident and their son was in some kind of accident and all the children were avid tennis players wow. so they wanted to um, build this and the city of las vegas gave them millions of dollars to build this and donate it um, so this is a city of las vegas park it's not a summerlin park it's a city of las vegas right. park but summerlin is like one street over yeah it's close to summerlin it's just right um super close by to Summerlin. <laughs> so we're gonna tour around, you know, um, show you the tennis courts. Like Chris said, there's 23 lighted tennis courts, so that's pretty awesome. Obviously, you need to call and make ahead arrangements to play tennis that day, right? Right, make an appointment. Uh, there'll be a small nominal charge for that. And then if, yeah, if you're doing a Google search and you're wondering, it's called Darling Tennis Center, but we affectionately call it DTC. Good to know. All right, guys, let's see you on the flip side. All right, guys, Chris and I are going to do a walk of this entire facility and show you what it's all about. Here is the pro shop and the main entrance when you come in. Then they have this beautiful little 
areas where people can sit. And then of course, the stadium. So they have 23 courts, as we mentioned earlier, and courts one and two are over there. And they also have that wall, right? There is a divider in between, a uh, little rest area where people rest in between the games. But they have a wall where you can bounce back and forth, right? What do you mean? Uh, like a, a tennis wall where you can hit, like racquetball where you can hit. I don't think they have that out here on the airports. Yeah, they have it on that number one. You see the green yeah, 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 wall? Yeah, I see now. The green wall. <laughs> so then there's one and two. Or they play it on court. But yeah, courts one and two start on the right. When you enter into the right side of the facility, on the north side of the property. We should have left our microphones on. Oh, oh well. I'm we'll not just, gonna worry about it. We'll just do speed, speed like. A yeah. If it doesn't sound good, good then we'll. Uh, yeah. That's so funny. I never noticed that in court. That is funny. They have that up. They might not have that up a year ago. I played in the corner like once. Usually I'm over here. I, yeah, I recently played. So there's three and four. I mean, look at this facility. It's so beautiful. No, you gotta have Yeah, all the lighting is solar, which is really neat. Oh, is it? Yeah. I didn't know that. You see the solar panels right on top of it. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. And here's courts five and six. <clears throat> when I first started, they're like, courts seven, eight, okay. So where's that at? <laughs> I'm new here. They also have restroom facilities. This is where I usually have my practice right here, eight and nine. Nice open areas for people to. There's six and come seven and right here we missed. Six and seven, eight and nine. Puts it away. <laughs> Beginners. Oh, this is, I'm gonna go back to my car and get out my rackets. <laughs> Who would you play with, though? You. Have you go put your shoes on? Uh, no, I got <laughs> shit to do. So this is what nine and ten. Yeah. This is nice. I've never played on these courts before. Yeah, played districts on that that court on the front of the court. It's fun when you when you get on a competitive team and then you go to your team makes it to districts and then. Tons of people watching. Yeah, I don't know if I'd ever want to be. <laughs> Do all that. Uh -uh. I'm just here for the fun of it. And that's what's great about the sport. You can do it leisurely, you can do it competitive. The one thing about these courts, though, is at night, because the lights are a little bit low, if you're playing on these courts and somebody's serving to you uh -huh. on the side, from north down to south, the lights do mess with you a little bit. So this is, I think, 13, 14. And then, no, 14's back there. 14's back in the corner. 14's back in the corner. It's like seven. It's kind of 15, 16. Yeah, I had to practice in 14 one time. I'm like, where is this at? And it's beautiful. Gosh. I want to be playing tennis all the time. <laughs> Until it gets to be 100 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's like, let's play at night. And even at night, it's still 100 degrees. 100 degrees but it feels nice. I think it does. So this says 17 and 18. Oh, I just ordered a new pair of tennis shoes, actually. They should be coming in the mail. Oh, nice. Nike. I'm a Nike guy. Me too. What's funny is I never bought a real pair of tennis 
tennis shoes. Oh. So the first year I was playing tennis, I was playing in Nike running shoes. Ah. Uh. Ridiculous. <laughs> so I think that's what I'm using. <laughs> a couple of almost turned ankles and the sole flying out. I said, oh, let me go to the tennis store. The local one over here is called House of Tennis. It's not too far down the 215 and Tropicana and try to support obviously local businesses. Right. So I bought my first pair of tennis, tennis shoes, Nike, Rafael wow. Nadal, Cage Fours. Super exciting. And they're wonderful. It feels like you're running on clouds. Wow. I'm going to have to invest in some tennis shoes. I've never been down this way. I used to play on these courts a lot. That's how it is. Leagues. So 19 and 20. And then here's the last set of quartz. There you go. Let's do a pan around of the whole facility. Backdrop of the Red Rock Mountains. How beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed our tour of the DTC, right? The Darling Tennis Center. Ooh, nice ball. Uh, let us know in the comments what you think of this tennis center or if how you like, you know, doing something different than talking about real estate. Right, Chris? Exactly. We, we <laughs> have other things in our lives besides real estate, even though that's number one. Right. <laughs> we do uh, other things for leisure, and we like to share that with you guys. Exactly. We're not just all about real estate. Anyways, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Peace out.